Hi folks, we're here to demonstrate how a Mesozenka cycle is capable of using atmospheric air as a renewable source of energy. And we'll do this via device we refer to as a heat and mass exchanger. That heat and mass exchanger comprised of very simple cheap materials, such as paper, cellulose, plastic, and a little bit of glue comprising channels inside our heat and mass exchanger. There's two sets of channels. One is delivering air straight through the unit, cooling it, and delivering it to the customer. The second air stream is actually where the cooling process takes place via evaporation, and it's been rejected into the atmosphere. As you can see, right now our ambient temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and we achieve 20 degree cooling by simply moving unit air through the device. If we disconnect the device from power and apply more heat to the unit, that's where the uniqueness of Meissensenka cycle really comes to life. Observe. With an increase of outside temperature, there will be a higher demand to keep up with the cooling capacity. Which means with a higher temperature, the traditional machine will use more power. As you can see right now, we have 130 degrees Fahrenheit of our incoming air, and it's still 60 degrees on the other end. And that cooling is achieved without any components, any mechanical refrigerants, any uh, chemicals, or any other devices. 150 degrees incoming, 60 outgoing. This is a 60 degrees of cooling achieved utilizing atmospheric air as a renewable source of energy.